So, hey guys, Chaozu here. So this is going to be my chain cap video against Arena Sasaki. This is an old tradition I've been doing for every new arena. And when I realized that we got a new arena, I can do this again. I honestly got so happy. Another thing that made me happy is that for the first time with a new arena, we can actually use We Won Ray League against actual hard content as captain. Uh, since the last arena, We Won Ray League actually got level limit break. And his level limit break makes him usable as a captain finally. He's arguably the best uh, chain cap since he has no restrictions, which is pretty damn cool, especially considering the huge restrictions, especially on We2 Sanji. Mihawk, after his level limit break, got less restrictions, but still, you need to focus on slashers. Rayleigh doesn't care. Uh, for this content, though, the negative with Rayleigh is that he adds like nothing. The only thing Rayleigh adds is the healing. That with his captain ability, which is nice for stage 4 of course, because you need to get about 10% HP. But yeah, for this stage we do so much damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, other than that, pretty unremarkable subs. Not, none of these subs are like super amazing. The best is obviously Luffy Crew and Fury is pretty good too. I think this is the first time I used the PvP free to play Hody. I think this is PvP free to play. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, Viola I've used in the past. Nice because of her low CD and various. Uh, well, basically, Viola is paralysis, which is why I use her on this team, and she also changes Spock Corp. So that's all I need, basically. And yeah, final stage. And I'll be using Luffy Crew on two of my teams because. Yeah, he's basically a cheat code for this arena. Maybe I could have made a team without Luffy Crew for this one in particular, but uh, not going to lie. Uh, I made this team last, so I was a bit tired then. I'm also like not playing OPTC as much right now. I've been putting a lot of time into the new Pokemon as well. Uh, back in the day, I used to play Pokemon a lot, especially like VGC and stuff, and I'm actually considering maybe going back to that. I've never actually been to a real-life tournament, and we have one in Sweden next season, so I'm thinking of putting some time in. So yeah, the good thing with Lufikur, of course, is that we go get those rainbow orbs, so we can keep them. And Lufikur also gives you two turns uh, boot buffs. The weird thing with Lufikur, of course, is that you're not allowed to get to use color affinity buff, so I need some color affinity to go before him. But yeah, it will have been boring to use Luffy Crew on every team, so here's a team without a Luffy Crew. And yeah, it's also fully slasher, you're allowed to use non slashers with Mihawk now, but it's still fun to use only slashers if possible, and like the other units don't get buffs anyway. I actually struggle a bit with the sixth unit on this team. Like, I pretty quickly did the original core of like the two Mihawks, Soro, Hiyori, and Shiryu. But I just couldn't find a good sixth unit to handle what I needed to. Like, something that could help me with the special reverse. But also, like, do some. Uh, that adds some damage for the fifth stage, stuff like that. So yeah, bug was actually perfect. So yeah, I was happy when I realized it. This is a Kisna rare recruit, probably one of my favorite Kisna rare recruit patches since I'm a sucker for uh, pre time skip, and it was very cool to get good units of like East Blue units. So we use Mihawk here, won't be the only time we use Mihawk, but it is what it is. But yeah, Hero is very good for this since you both get the heal on stage 4 and you get the one orbs and you can try and keep them to the end. And you just skip all of the negative orb mechanics and block orbs on revive, stuff like that. 
So yeah, we're not going to have too many buffs this stage. Like, we have Miyok to give ore boost, Bagge does ore boost, Shiri does ore boost, everything does ore boost, but yeah, we don't really need that, but it is what it is. Still, ore boost, base attack boost, and one of orbs is a lot of damage in itself, and if you don't know with chain caps, the unis hitting last hits pretty damn hard, harder than normal unis in general. So, Shiri and Zoro here just do enough damage anyway. And yeah, final stage. Uh, Bug is carrying over an ore boost for next stage. So we get an ore boost. Zoro will give an attack boost. And yeah, I'm actually punished for level limit break 5 Zoro here. Because color affinity specials is not allowed, so I had to put uh, color affinity support on the Mihawk. But yeah, support should remove the para as well as the ship. Zoro gives attack buff that will carry over to the next turn. And uh, new, pretty new treasure map Ryoku Jinbei lets Sora lock all of the orbs on the team when he uses an attack boosting special. Obviously very useful, but this is actually the first time I use it. So we get to keep the full board of one orbs and an attack boost for the revive. And that's all we need to kill. And yeah, pretty easy with a chain cap. Last two units we hit very hard. Don't even need Sora, I think. Nope. Anyway, last team. And I cheated a little bit on the last team. I did the uh, Sauber and Sanji combo, which I like, honestly. But yeah, this lets me use Luffy Crew, which is a bit of a cop out. But the thing is that I struggle a lot with Sanji, especially stage four. And then I kind of went this route and tried this. And then I realized a strat that I can actually use for more teams. And I'm not going to say it's like a big revolution or something. I'm sure other people did this. I just didn't think about it. But yeah, basically on stage four, if you stall, you get heavily punished. It's like 10 turns to spear or something. It's a lot of bad effects. Ship bind also, I think. But Obviously, every stage here has like mobs, so I realized uh, I can just kill I can just kill Black Maria stage four, and then stall, and that was like such a revelation. So I made use of it on this team, but maybe I could do double Sanji with that strat in mind. But honestly, I think I'll just wait for Sanji to get this level limit break and just return to this later. I'm sure someone else might figure it out in the meantime, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'll use both Sabo and Sandy special this stage, because we won't be able to use their specials after this, so why not? Uh, the bad thing with his team is that Sandy only boosts fighters, and Sabo only boosts Psy and Strength. So we have to build a team against Psy content, and we're not allowed to use int units, which is a bit troublesome, but of course we do have the Luffy Crew sheet code, to add a lot of damage final stage. Yeah, this does let you use some units you maybe normally wouldn't. But yeah, the reason I wanted to stall this stage is because of Marco. Marco is just so perfect otherwise for this. The only issue with Marco is that he carries over the chain boost to the next stage. But I need some color finite to support next stage too. So if you have both two buffs with Luffy Crew, you don't get Luffy Cruise buffs, you just extend your current buffs, which I didn't want. So I had to like be able to stall a turn here to not get Marco's chain buff the next stage. And then I realized, oh, I can just kill Black Maria and leave one mob alive. Yeah. Not really a groundbreaking strat, but probably something I make use for in the future as well, if needed. You can actually use a similar strat final stage as well, which I will do on this team. Basically, if you feel like your damage is lacking, you, you can just leave the mobs alive. Turn 1. They don't actually do that much damage. See, so yeah, Karasu plus Luffy Crew swap removes all of the para. Luffy Crew is his special bind for himself, which is always very useful. And then the support to lock the orbs. Luffy has quite a few. One dice one, 
Iceberg is one, there's someone more, can't remember right now. But yeah, just target Sasaki, get as much damage as I can. Then the moss will hit into me for the next turn. But I'll easily live that and I have the same buffs next turn. So I can just easily kill the mobs then. But yeah, I was still happy I could do it with Witsu Sanji, even if I didn't do the pure double chain cap. Sabu is basically a fake chain cap, which I'm not a big fan of, but I do like the fact that you can actually hybrid these two. Hybrid teams are always more fun, in my opinion. Also use Sabo's uh, super type special, because why not? No reason to use it before this turn. And yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.